While Bitcoin was the first cryptocurrency based on the distributed ledger design proposed in Satoshi's 2008 paper, it wasn't long before other cryptocurrencies emerged. In fact, the Bitcoin system that was spun up in 2009 was developed as open source code, meaning it could be legally copied and modified for other uses. Eventually, there will be thousands of cryptocurrencies, many based on Bitcoin and others with a similar architectural design but different code base. One particular cryptocurrency, Ether, created in 2013 by a Russian-Canadian, Vitalik Buterin, introduced some unique new blockchain capabilities. Unlike pure-play cryptocurrencies, Ether runs in a blockchain called Ethereum that is both digital money and a platform for the execution of software instructions called smart contracts. Today, the success of Ethereum has made it second only to Bitcoin in market capitalization and the most popular use of blockchain for applications. Ethereum leverages the decentralized nature of blockchain, turning the network into the computer. Participant computers are collectively known as the Ethereum Virtual Machine, or EVM. Unlike traditional client-server architectures, the centralized systems used to support most of the world's computing needs today, the EVM is low-cost, massively scaled, avoids downtime, and secure from the outset. Most notably, however, it is independent of any central authority, with code being the arbiter of trust. The platform supports its own programming language called Solidity. In this language, code can be constructed called a smart contract that is executed under specific conditions. Think of it as similar to a legal contract that goes into effect and binds parties to certain requirements expectations, and behaviors. In a smart contract, for example, payment could be triggered upon delivery of a physical product, and a back-end inventory system could be updated. Smart contracts can't just be deployed and run for free indefinitely. You can probably guess that it's the cryptocurrency Ether that is used to pay for any work on the network. Ether buys gas. Yes, you heard that right, gas. That is the equivalent of a service charge for computational effort on the EVM. Today, smart contracts on Ethereum are used to power a high volume and wide variety of applications. These distributed apps, or dApps as they're called, can be found in financial services, healthcare, real estate, gaming, logistics, and many more. It will come as no surprise that one of the most popular uses of Ethereum today is support for non-fungible tokens, or NFTs. But of course, much more on that soon. Now, finally, I want to talk about the concept of crypto tokens, simply known as tokens on a blockchain. Up until this point, I've described the use of blockchain technology as a way to record and manage transactions relative to digital money, sometimes referred to as crypto coins. In Bitcoin, for example, Transactions are entered in the ledger that record the ownership of money exchanged between parties. But simply thinking of blockchain for crypto coins is far too limiting. The qualities I've described about distributed ledger technology suggest that many forms of value can be quantified and recorded. After all, at its heart, blockchain is a bookkeeping system. While crypto coins have their own dedicated blockchains, such as Bitcoin and Ethereum, tokens are a type of cryptocurrency that uses existing smart contract-powered blockchains. Tokens are a means of exchange to give value to a transaction. There are two major types of tokens, a security token and a utility token. Security tokens represent whole or fractional ownership of any asset that already has value, such as real estate, a car, or corporate stock. For example, a person could own a token that represents a 5% share of a boat. Utility tokens give users access to a future product or service. For example, a startup could issue utility tokens to users to raise money, and later users could utilize the tokens to use the startup service. This understanding of the basic concept of tokens on a blockchain system 
will later help you to grasp how a specific type of token, a non-fungible, is recorded and traded.